talking to Sky News and given one of the most chilling interviews I've ever seen. What's the view on the humanitarian crisis in Gaza this morning? Uh, there is no humanitarian crisis because... There isn't? It, there is no. Uh, Israel is in charge of the safety of the Israelis. Hamas is in charge of the safety of the Palestinians. There is no humanitarian crisis in Gaza. And Hamas is responsible for the safety of Palestinians. Now, Israeli bombs have already killed almost 800 children in Gaza. Israel has shut off running water to 2 million people in Gaza. Israel has also shut off the electricity supply, meaning the desalination plants can't function. So there's no other way to get water in Gaza. Journalists, medics and UN workers are being killed. Yet there's no humanitarian crisis. No humanitarian crisis. This is not a fringe pundit. This is the Israeli ambassador to the UK. This is the representative of the Israeli government to the UK who is saying there is no humanitarian crisis in Gaza. It's completely sick and it actually gets worse. We've been showing pictures this morning that would illustrate that there is a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Are you a mother? Yes. What would you think if your children would have been executed in front of your eyes? Would you expect your government to think about those Nazis committing those crimes and to say, wait a second, first of all, we need to protect the enemy and then to protect my children. Your children come as priority to your prime minister. Does the Israeli ambassador not think that Palestinians also have children? Right? Are there not Palestinian mothers who care deeply about their kids? Or is Zippy Hotavelli suggesting every man, woman and child in Gaza is a Nazi? Because if she is, that's the language of genocide. No, when Vladimir Putin says that kind of thing, our whole media rightly says that's the language of genocide. When he says Ukrainians are Nazis, so they're fair game, we think that's the language of genocide. And the mainstream media thinks that's the language of genocide. When an Israeli ambassador says it, that's normal. That's normal. That's sickening. That's disgusting. Let's go to another moment in the interview. Never in the past we had such a clear-cut war of good versus evil, of people that are slaughtering babies versus people that are protecting their children in a shelter. Everyone saw the Israeli parents protecting the children in the shelters, and everyone saw the horrific footages of those beheaded babies, this horrors that created by Hamas terrorists. So this is such a clear-cut war. Now, we haven't all seen footage of babies being beheaded, right? No international media outlet has confirmed it happened. It's not a question, oh, if, 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 if no babies were beheaded, that means what Hamas did was fine. Absolutely not. But if you are the Israeli ambassador, right, then when you are going on the television, you should say stuff which is verified, which has evidence. You can't just go on there and say, everyone has seen this when no one has seen this, right? Or maybe, maybe someone in the world has seen it. I don't know. But no international media has verified this, which means that I've got no reason to think it's true, right? It's also true. She says Israeli mothers were protecting their babies in shelters. That was awful. These are awful things. I have every sympathy for Israeli mothers sheltering their kids in shelters. Does Zippy Hotavelli not think Palestinian mothers also protect their babies when they are being attacked, right? It's not just Israelis protecting their babies. They're also Palestinians protecting their babies, right? They're less likely to have shelters, in fact, and they are being bombed by one of the most powerful militaries in the world day after day after day after day. Again, remember, this isn't just a fringe pundit on right-wing TV. This is Israel's official representative to the UK.